Hi beautiful people, I'm Ella and welcome to Red the World Travels. This is the ultimate guide for packing a kid's bag. These are packing cells. I brought mine from Kathmandu. I will link you um, a link through Amazon if you'd like to get some. They are amazing. And I have rolled all of my child's clothing. So um, I think it takes less space and you can see what you have easier. These are little travel pants. So they zip off and they become shorts as well. I have pants, tees, ski pants, a winter hat, a going out shirt, which you'll see shortly, uh, some merino thermals, now merinos, uh, those are jammies actually, so two sets of pyjamas, um, his winter hat, I have about five t-shirts um, and I have gotten some slightly too big for him because we're going to be away for a while. I didn't want to have to go shopping so some of those are baggy fit now. He will grow into them while we're away. That is a going out shirt for if we go out to dinner somewhere nice and these are merino thermals. Now merino is an amazing has amazing properties. Um, it's warm, it wicks sweat away from the body, it's fine. I wash it in fabric softener first for um, for children and it's generally not itchy if it's a nice quality one. Uh, so those are essential for cold weather. We went to Finland so uh, they were amazing and a skipping rope I just squeezed in there just to fill in the space on the corner. A few other um, pieces of clothing I'm going to fit in there. And then that zips up ever so nicely. And we're on to bag two. So I have a winter uh, polar fleece a fleece jumper again a little long but he will grow while we're away and I roll that really snugly and it just fits down so nicely into those bags his snugly dressing gown winter gloves I've got some more winter pyjamas there, a big uh, winter jacket that's nicely lined so it will be nice and warm with a hood. I do tend to go for things with hoods, it makes it easier, you don't have to carry a hat, you don't lose a hat while you're out, um, but there's that extra warmth. So while I'm squeezing that away into my little packing cell, uh, we have American Tourista luggage. It's hard shower luggage. I do recommend if you're going away for a length of time or on a big trip, invest in some luggage if you don't have any. You won't regret it as you're wheeling it through uh, the airport, the taxis, the buses, the trains, wherever you intend to take it, boats. Um, it is, it's so much better having nice luggage that can wheel properly and you know it's going to get through the airport and out the other side in one piece. So I'm just going to squeeze those, that packing cell down, get that zipped up. Uh, because I've put in some more bulky items in that packing cell, it's, it is a little more full, but I do get there in the end. And then you'll see shortly I'm going to 
Um, I also have underneath there just a few bits and pieces. Now, the American Tourista luggage is great, at, but it does have the, the two lines that become the extendable handle uh, in the suitcase. So rather than lose that space, I've filled that with little bits and pieces, uh, packs of cards, uh, some little travel games, some maths games that uh, I got from Anthony's school. Just got put into that little gap because you want to use every available space. I also wanted to want to note that we has a really nice luggage allowance on this trip of 30 kilos each, maybe a little more. So this bag does weigh over 23 kilos, but um, you can weigh yours and, and each child's needs and clothes are going to be different. So, but do make sure you weigh it before you get to the airport. Don't have a nasty surprise when you get there, realise you've overpacked. You don't want to be paying excess luggage fees. What I've just packed away, that's Anthony's uh, snow jacket. And that's great because it packs away to a little bag. So when he's not using it, but we want him to take it, he can just put it on his back. And it fits into that very cute little circle bag. And then I've just um, filling in the, the additional space in that bag with a few little extra bits and bobs. So that it's completely full. Like I say, we don't want to lose, we don't want to be travelling just with space if we can fill it with things and make it nice and snug. Not only for the fact you, you only get limited space to carry the things you want to carry, also for the fact that if you, if you do have lo loose things, they move around in transit and it's, um, it just makes it awkward sometimes so you'll see that off, uh, we have little zip pockets uh, on that inside uh, bag now I have just put in some socks and I'd put in some underwear there that is just so it's easy to get to when you get to the other end if you need either of those things or perhaps if your child is smaller and needs maybe a disposable nappy or something like that Things that you want to grab so you want to know where they are straight away without having to think about it when you're jet lagged and tired and not had enough sleep. Put, put those, use those little bags for things like that um, and you won't regret it. So I've just packed in a plastic bag, Anthony's hiking boots. We enjoy hiking and he has some beautiful new boots to take with us. So I've put those in there and then this is a smaller travel cell and it's got about five of his selected best soft friends that are coming with us and that's going to go right there. And now some of you may be shocked, there's going to be a lot of Lego. My son likes Lego and we support that uh, addiction my husband says uh, but we uh, he does enjoy lego and we have brought are bringing a lot with us now we are traveling for a year so this is his all that you see here are his toys that he has for a whole year um other than a few bits and bobs that we're going to pick up along the way um and i for my ocdness i have color coordinated those and put them into little snap lock bags the snap lock bags are more about uh, making them easily accessible and that we can snap lock them again closed. If we're somewhere, uh, they can be sealed away again safely without too much trouble. But honestly, I don't think it matters how old your child is. You need to allow some space for toys. Don't think that you can use all their luggage for just clothes and shoes. Um, even if it's much less than what you're seeing here, kids ne need to have some some reading and some toys, something to for them to play with. 
some you know now seeing some uh, lightsabers. They obviously don't need any explanation as to why we're bringing those. And oh, but if I just get those squished down there, and this is a travel chessboard. Uh, we have taught our son chess. He enjoys it, uh, and I am continuing to learn. It also has a set of drafts in the same uh, travel thing. And I've also put a few little bits and bobs, uh, little special surprises in that case. So when we get to the other end and we open it up, it's not just the game. There's a few little other surprises because there was space within that uh, container to hold them. You're now seeing a selection of half dozen favourite books. Again, no matter what the age of your child is, I think it's nice to have some familiar books at bedtime. Especially when you're on potentially the other side of the world. Now these are a pair of my son's shoes and you'll just see, I've just grabbed some socks. I do put some other socks back into that little bag if you're interested. But uh, this is a great tip for yourself and for kids pack the shoes with socks so you have to take the bulk of those shoes no matter what if you pack them with socks you get to it's like free space you're, you're using that space that would be there anyway for something useful and it also means when you when your child goes to put on those shoes rather than mum wears the socks they're right there so you already know that if you can find the shoes you will have a pair of socks with them as I've said before, we are going for a year's adventure. So I have uh, grabbed some of Anthony's school work, school books, and they are coming with us as well. This is a little uh, tough case, a little case of racing cars. Again, each kid is going to be different as to what their favourite toys are. Anthony enjoys playing with these little hot wheel cars and um and we've got this little case that that is great for again for traveling that it's completely contained it uh, clips away nicely so it doesn't uh things can't fall out and it means if we're going on a little day trip or anything like that he can take those with him and play with those uh, while we're doing other things you know it's not just that uh, they have to stay in his big bag Beach towel, pretty self-explanatory as to why you'd need one of those. And though that's his little, uh, it's called a, a hobbit bag, but it's just a backpack for him. So again, if we go hiking or for day trips, he can take his own drink bottle, his own little snacks, a few little toys. And it's getting all zipped away, snug as a bug in a rug, into that. I'm going to flip that bad boy over because she's pretty heavy now. Zip it all up. Bob's your uncle. Fred is your aunt. We're away laughing. Good cho job, team. Have a safe and happy trip. I hope you've found something useful. And remember to like and share the video if you've found it uh, at all useful or you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. I just want to point out one other thing I didn't get to mention on my clip. Personalise your bag. Always, always. It doesn't have to be stickers like we have. You can put uh, little things on your uh, carry handles, ribbons, ties, those bands you get to uh, help it to hold together. Whatever it is, just for goodness sake, please, for me, don't take a plain black bag to the airport. I like coloured bags because they're easier to spot on the conveyor belt. And if you personalise it, you know it's going to be yours. You don't have to look at the tag. Enjoy traveling.